Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode here in my series all about helping you prepare for the PL300 Power BI Data Analyst exam. Now, in this video, we're going to focus on the third functional group, Visualize and Analyze the Data. I've already dropped a couple other videos going over the previous functional groups, model the data, prepare the data, as well as some exam overview, just discussing the question types, retake and reschedule policy, the passing score that you need, as well as what to expect when you are ready to take that exam as far as checking in and the exam experience if you're taking that online at home or at a testing site in person. So be sure to check the links in the description below to get caught up on those other videos. Now, in these videos, what I like to do is present the functional group, go over, just take a brief look at the skills that you need to understand for each objective. And then we'll take a look at some practice questions and then we'll explore the solution and prove the solution in the Power BI desktop. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone. So here you can see our third functional group, visualize and analyze the data. In this functional group, there are three objectives that you need to be familiar with. Those are listed out there in bold. Create reports, enhance reports for usability and storytelling, and identify patterns and trends. Now, within each of these objectives, you can see the bullet points listed below. These are the skills that you might have to answer questions on or the skills that you need to understand in order to be considered a master Power BI data analyst for this functional group, visualize and analyze the data. So let's go ahead, dive into our first question here. All right, here's our first question. You're a Power BI consultant in the final stage of developing a sales report for a private company. A screenshot of the report can be seen below. The company has asked you to configure the report interactions so that when the play axis slicer is playing, the following occurs. The sales analysis by country column chart should only show the total sales of each country for the selected year. The total sales all countries card visual should always show the sum of all sales. The profit by country pie chart should focus on the profit for the selected year, as well as show total profit for all years. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this report in the Power BI desktop and take a look. All right, so our question wants us to configure the report interactions, the behaviors for the sales analysis by country column chart, the total sales all countries card visual, and the profit by country pie chart when the play axis slicer is playing through year by year. You'll notice that when the play axis slicer is playing, the default behavior for a column chart is going to be to highlight. The default behavior for the pie chart will also be to highlight and the card visual is going to be set to filter. Now, the first thing we need to do is to enable edit interactions. We would want to first make sure that our play axis slicer is selected. That's going to treat that visual as the source visual. Now up at the top, select that format tab and then toggle on edit interactions. Now you will notice there are three icons in the top right corner of every visual, except for some of them, your card visual and the map visual only have the two icons that you see here. That is because on the card visual and on the map visual, there is not the ability to highlight. There is only the ability to filter down to the data for the selected year when the play axis slicer is going through those years or to set it to no impact at all. Now, our question is asking that we, on the total sales by the sales analysis by country column chart, that we set this to filter is what it wants us to do. And it wants us to set the card visual to always show this value here. And then when the play axis slicer is playing, our profit by country pie chart should show the data for the selected year, as well as the total profit for all years. So the way that we would need to configure our interactions would be as follows. The sales analysis by country visual should be set to filter. The profit by country pie chart should be set to highlight so it can stay to the default setting. Now the card visual, the total sales for all countries should show all sales 
the sum of all sales for all countries at all times, no matter what year is playing. So we need to set this to no impact so that when we are playing through year by year, now instead of it filtering on those visuals, cross highlighting on the sales analysis by country, it is only gonna filter down the data to the year. Notice that the pie, the, the card visual will not change because we have set it to no impact. All right, so if we go back to our slides, we will see the correct answer for this question is to cross filter on the column chart to set the pie chart here to cross highlight. We can leave that at the default setting. And then for the card visual, we need to make sure we set that to no impact. All right, let's take a look at question two. Question two reads, this question is one question that makes up a series of questions regarding the same scenario. Each question in this series will present a possible solution. You will have to determine if the solution satisfies the requirements stated by the question. After you answer a question in this section, you will not be able to return to it for review. Now, this is a sample type similar to a set of questions you will see on the exam. Just as it states, this question is a part of a series. Once you answer this, you will not be able to return to this to review it. So you wanna make sure that you're answering this very carefully. Once you move on from these questions, you will have to live with that answer. So let's read our actual question. Your report contains a column chart displaying sales by country. You need to add a reference line to show the target sales goal for each country is 4 million. The solution, you add an average line using the total sales measure. Does this solution satisfy the requirement? Well, let's take a look at the Power BI report. So using that same report that we were just working with here. Now, if we take a look at the sales analysis by country column chart, to add a reference line to this, we have to go over to the analysis pane and select this. And you'll see there are a few different lines for you to choose from. Now, our question wants us to show the target sales goal that for each country needs to be met and the target sales goal needs to be 4 million. The solution presented to us was to add an average line. So let's go ahead and add an average line Let's go ahead on this average line, enable the data label, and let's in that data label include not just the value, but the name as well. And let's change the color here to make it a bit easier for us to read. And we can see that the average sales here is showing as $4,893,112.87. So the average is higher than that target sales goal. So enabling an average line here would not satisfy the solution. Now, the question did say that this was one question in a series of questions. So typically how you're going to see this question type is you will see a couple of solutions where two or three of them are going to be presented, two or three solutions, and two will be incorrect and one will be the correct solution. So you need to consider what the correct solution is. And for this one here, we would not want to add an average line, but instead we would want to add a constant line to our report. So for this solution, we would need to add in a constant line. So we would add in that constant line here, set the value here to 4 million, and then go in and make sure that we do the same, enable the data label, show the name and the value for this solution here. So constant line is what we're looking for in that scenario. Back on our slides here, the correct answer here would be no. An average line would not satisfy the requirements. A constant line would. So if you see this question in a series, no, that average line would not satisfy. But pay attention very closely to that wording because these solutions may look very similar and just one word like the type of reference line referring to will be different. So take your time on these. You can't go back to these. So you want to make sure you're getting every point possible because you never know which point might be the one to tip you over that passing score of 700 that you can achieve to earn that Power BI Data Analyst certification. All right, everyone, that's it for this functional group. Just a couple of questions to get you started and help you in your studies in preparing for that PL300 exam, the Power BI Data Analyst certification. 
Now, I hope you are enjoying the series and feel free, drop some suggestions in the comments, ask me a question, give me some feedback here. I'd love to hear what you are most interested in seeing in terms of question types or question content to help you prepare for the Power BI Data Analyst exam. And who knows, I might just use it for my next video in this series. Now, if you are looking for more help in preparing for that PL300 exam, make sure to check out the other videos in this series that I have created and shared here on our Pragmatic Works YouTube channel. Now, if you're looking for an extensive review of the Power BI Data Analyst PL300 study guide, then check out the link in the description to head straight over to our on-demand learning platform where you can preview the PL300, the comprehensive PL300 review course I created, where we go over every single bullet point in the PL300 exam study guide. Now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.